Well, here we go. Today is the day we disassemble Kurt's bug. And uh, our plan is really just to get off all the major body panels, uh, get the doors loose. I'm not gonna remove them, but I wanna make sure the screws are loose so we can remove them later. Uh, we've gotta knock off things like the running boards, and then I'm gonna go around and loosen all the body mounting bolts and uh, remove them if I can. And then at that point, we should be able to start inspecting and see just how much uh, rust damage we have to deal with. So really, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and set you up on a time lapse here. And uh, we've got the cart up on some rollers so I can move it around, kind of twist it around in the garage here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start tearing it apart, get things organized, and then uh, I'll bring you back when we're done. All right, well for today's sketchy find, as I'm going to pull the uh, wiring out for the headlights, um, I notice that this is where it plugs into the fuse panel, so you get your high and your low beam here. And this was just wrapped up with some electrical tape, and once I removed the tape, I see that it was just simply a stripped back part of the wire here, wrapped it with, with uh, part of this wire here, and then taped it up. And uh, that's uh, pretty. Uh, that's pretty sketchy there. Uh, I'm amazed we didn't have any issues, and it looks like it's been like that a long, long time. I thought you'd get a kick out of that anyway.
All right, well, there we have it. So we've got all the body panels removed now and uh, got all of the body bolts, uh, the body mounting bolts removed and uh, the body's ready to, to lift off. Um, I went ahead and loosened all the hinge bolts or, or hinge screws um, just to make sure that I can remove the doors uh, when I'm ready for that. So at this point, um, with everything removed and the body unbolted, um, really the last thing for us to do today is to uh, go ahead and get the motor pulled. All right, so the motor is out. And uh, again, we've got all the body bolts disconnected and uh, really the body's ready to come off. Uh, I think the only thing left uh, getting in our way is now the steering column and we'll, we'll pull that off uh, later. But now that we're at this point, I figured now would be a good time to just kinda run around the car and show you some of the stuff I know we're gonna have to deal with. Um, in the back here, uh, the motor was a little tough to get out. It was getting caught up on some of this, uh, this stainless trim, but then also it was, it was, this area is a little messed up. I know that this car was uh, kind of smashed in the rear at some point in its life, and this isn't all quite straight. So I think what we're gonna try to do here is just straighten out this apron and just get everything fitting again. If, uh, if it's too far gone, we'll end up having to buy a new one, but we're gonna, we're gonna try to save it. Everything else back here for the most part is okay. Uh, there were a couple of uh, already broken bolts that hold the fender on there. Uh, one had just a nut and bolt that was holding it in. One is it just, there never was one. I can still see the original broken bolt still in there. So we'll have to go through and fix up all, the, all those mounting points. But I think in the back end here, we probably are gonna be, gonna be okay. So with the, uh, with the running boards removed and uh, with the hinges loose on the door, you can actually see now the door doesn't, doesn't actually want to close real well. Uh, and that is because the lower part of this A pillar is completely rotten. Um, you know, and, and the whole thing's loose. And so as I was trying to beat these screws loose, it ended up uh, just bending things forward. Not a big deal, because this has to be replaced anyway. Um, but the more I work on this, the more, the more it falls apart. So we're gonna, again, this, this area will get cut out and replaced with a, with a new patch that we already have. Um, the heater channels and the, the, the sill plates and he, heater channels here, I was really hoping I could save those um, and just section in uh, parts that were needed. But it turns out that uh, on the passenger side for sure that it is it's just toast. Um, you can look here where the jack point is. At some point, somebody put a jack on here to jack the car up and it, it just completely crunched the, the heater channel uh, because it's all, it's all rotten. There's no, there's no structure left here. Underneath, I mean, it's, there's holes going straight up through. So this heater channel for sure is gonna be replaced. Up here on the front of the passenger door, you can see that this corner is all, all rotten. Um, you know, so this, this whole corner of the car really kind of took a beating. What we're gonna end up doing, um, I did buy a lower skin. Um, the bottom of the door over here looks good, so I think we'll be able to just section in this 
this corner of it to get this back in shape. So the inner fender well here on the passenger side, uh, you can see it's got some got some rot through it. You can see where the uh, the mounting point for the fender has been been removed here. You know it should look like this guy up here. You know, but that stripped out at some point in its life. Uh, we've got a couple others that are that are stripped out. These guys up here are bent, um, so they're probably going to need some some work here. Uh, but for the most part, the rest of this fender well looks kind of okay. You can see there's a rust hole here, it's rusting out here. I think we can get away with just sectioning and patches on that. So we'll, you know, I'll probably come in and just slice this this portion out, get the heater channel replaced, and then we'll just section in a, a new piece here. So no no major work on that part. The front of this uh, inner fender here. Uh, is going to be replaced because this is all crunched. It's all misshapen. Uh, again, this car was in an accident in the front and, you know, repaired at some point in its life and just kind of, just kind of beat in the shape that resembles a Volkswagen, but not really proper. So when we replace the front uh, valence and the lower belly pan, we're going to go ahead and cut this inner fender out. And I've got a new, new patch for that. So that'll, That'll get that all straightened back up again. Here we are on the driver's side, and you can see this inner fender well is completely toast. Um, you know, so I did get a patch panel to replace this whole piece, um, and then here at the at the heater channel, you can see that's completely completely rotten and gone. Well, there it is. So we've got Kurt's bug uh, mostly disassembled here. All in all, this uh, I think this took me about three hours to get to this point. So really, you know, not a bad job. There's a lot of work yet to be done. I think next time around, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on some of this body panel replacement. We'll probably get started with the heater channels. We'll get all that solidified and get the center of the body structure taken care of. And then we'll work our way out from there. But uh, I think for today, uh, I'm pooped. I'm going to go in and uh, get cleaned up here, and uh, I'll just see you on the next one. Take care.